On December 14, 2005, the United Nations Convention Against Corruption was entered into force after a high-level political signing conference was held in Merida, Yucatan, where several countries signed on to the agreement. In a message written by the then Secretary General of the UN, Kofi Annan, he basically capsulated that the document seeks to address saying, quote, the adoption of the United Nations Convention Against Corruption will send a clear message that the international community is determined to prevent and control corruption. It will warn the corrupt that betrayal of the public trust will no longer be tolerated, and it will reaffirm the importance of core values such as honesty, respect for the rule of law, accountability, and transparency in promoting development and making the world a better place for all." End of quote. It is an interesting document and does seek to accomplish what all political parties have been lobbying for, at least in theory. Belize, however, is not a signatory to this convention against corruption, and that is where the press release from the Belize Progressive Party comes in. The release was sent out today demanding that Prime Minister Dean Barrow sign onto the document. Paco Smith of the BPP spoke on the importance for Belize to sign onto the UNCAC document. It is essential that Belize signs on to this document for a number of reasons. I could list the ways, but let us begin by first talking about the manifestation of this, that being signing on to such a document regionally. Anyone who has been attuned to what is going on regionally, meaning Central America, you know that our neighbor to the West, recently their president, was taken up on corruption charges. Guatemala is a signatory to this document. If you go back several years um, with regards to Honduras, there was a situation also involving someone at the executive level and corruption. It's important that Belize sign on to this, number one, because fundamentally it's the right thing to do. And number two, it's legally binding. Smith went on to tell Love News that had the Belize Progressive Party won the recent elections, the signing of the document would have been priority for them. If a government and or its representatives mean well by the population in terms of stamping out corruption, dealing with corruption at its root causes, I, in my honest assessment can see no reason why there would be hesitation to sign on to this document. As part of our platform, we said unequivocally that had things worked out accordingly and the BPP formed the new government, that would, would have been one of our very first um, acts as government to sign this very, very important document. The United Nations Convention Against Corruption focuses on several areas, namely prevention, criminalization, international cooperation, and asset recovery. There are 140 signatories to the UNCAC.